Did I really just take my NCLEX? Happy NCLEX Day. It's currently July 12th, 2023. Today's the day that I'm gonna take the exam that determines kind of my entire future as a nurse. I'm so nervous, guys. I think I got about six and a half hours of sleep, which is much better than what I originally thought. Shout out to melatonin, because if I hadn't taken that, I honestly don't think I would have went to sleep until past one, which would have been really bad. I took it at 8.18, and I got to sleep probably around 9.45, woke up at 1.46, had a dream about the NCLEX and my results. So I was kind of awake from that for a little bit, but managed to go back to sleep, then woke up at 4.45. So I'll just quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. If you have been following along this channel for a while, I graduated the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, almost two months ago now. Finally taking the NCLEX because my ATT authorization to test took forever. But you know that for every exam, I have worn this shirt for all my nursing school exams, pretty much. And this necklace to show you guys up front. Then I got just my shorts. Another thing I'm gonna be wearing, which is probably gonna look really, really silly with shorts, are these cow socks. They're special. My best friend's mom got them for me. Right now, I am going to do a little bit more studying for only a couple minutes, because I'm gonna get there really early just because I wanna make sure that I have time and everything since so check-in does start at seven. They said to get there 30 minutes early. Eat breakfast, which is banana bread. My last exam that I need to pass before I become a registered nurse. I'm just trying to be okay. I've been listening to a lot of worship music this morning, which was very encouraging. I'm here at the testing center. There it is. I'm gonna go right in that door. Or wait, is that? The, yeah, that door. I think. There is no one here. Let me show you all <laughs> from my car. The fog this morning was kind of rough. Oh, there's a car pulling in. I wonder if they're taking their NCLEX too. But you know, thankfully, once I got on the interstate, it cleared up. So that's really good. Now I'm just gonna have my banana bread that mom made. So shout out to my mom. She makes really good baked goods, and this will be nice. Ta-da! And then probably study for a little bit, and then go inside. So I will update you right before I leave. Update, there's about five people here, and we're all just in the parking lot, one space apart. And there's this one girl that's walking in now. I saw two older people walk in, which I think are going to be the proctors for the exam. Oh my goodness, she's walking in. Oh, wait, where's she gone? Yeah, she's gone to the testing site. Okay, now someone else is walking in. Ah! Yep, there's a guy that is standing outside the door. Oh, he's waving us to come in. I am not coming in right now, though. I'm going to listen to one more song. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'm gonna put this away, turn my phone off, and go inside. I'll let you guys know. I forgot to mention that since I ate that banana bread, I have chocolate all over my hands. So hopefully there's a sink and a bathroom where I can wash off everything. <laughs> of course, I'm the one to get chocolate everywhere. Okay, now this girl's going in. <sighs> okay, bye. I'm done, guys. I finished the NCLEX. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, when I was taking it, it didn't feel as hard as I thought it was going to be. But then again, I didn't know some of it either. It was just so weird. And you know, it's a CAT exam, so computer adaptive test, and it's supposed to get harder. But I couldn't tell if it was getting harder or not. I don't know. My exam shut off at 85 questions, so either I did really good or I failed, <laughs> so I don't know what to think. 
I'm kind of nervous about it. I feel like I should have passed, but you never know. <sighs> I had 12 select all that apply questions, and that's not including case studies where it's like, you know, select these two or select these five. Um, just straight up select all that apply. A lot of multiple choice. I had four case studies and then one EKG kind of question. Oh my goodness. I just finished. I don't know what to think, guys. Did I really just take my NCLEX? Because it does not feel real. I guess I'll tell you a little bit more about the process. So I went in, they did have a bathroom, so I washed all of the chocolate off me. Fun fact, I actually had chocolate on my cheek right here. So I washed that off and I went in and there's probably about four people in there. Um, there's only one in front of me. So I got to go up there, gave my license and gave that to him. And then he did the palm vein scan where all it is, there's no ink or anything. You just put your palm on this thing and you go right, left, right, left, and then you do right again. And then they took my picture and gave me a locker uh, with a key. And I just put my car keys in that because that's all I had. So I put that in there, went into the testing area. There is 14 um, computers to test and I got the first one and they're like little cubicles. So they had divisions between them. I didn't bring any water or snacks or anything because I figured I wasn't going to take that long and I was actually right. So I got in there, went back again, did another palm vein scan before I opened the door to the testing, sat down, the guy just gave me some instructions and I started my test. And I am so glad that UWorld has the NCLEX style testing because the format, it looked exactly like UWorld because you can go on and change the setting to mimic the NCLEX. And it gave me a lot of comfort because it is uh, very similar. And I just started testing, praying that it was all going to be okay. And I kept going and I hit 40 and I said, okay, I'm halfway through push through and I told myself as I was going to click to 85 I said you know what Claire if it does not shut off at 85 you are not going to freak out and then I clicked 85 and I clicked next and it just went black and it started loading and I thought oh no please don't go to another question I don't want to do another one and it didn't and it shut off and I raised my hand and they did another palm vein scan outside of the doors and I took my stuff, grabbed it from the locker, and now I'm here. The total time it took me, I think, was maybe around an hour and five minutes. So not that long, but I also tried to slow down. I don't feel like I went super fast on it. I am kind of a naturally more on the side of faster test taker, especially with NCLEX questions. I think just because I've done so many UWorld that I just fly through it now. I used to not be like that. Guys, I'll let you know. I don't know if I'm going to do the Pearson V trick or not. I'm kind of thinking I might. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to go shopping and just enjoy life. I'll update you guys throughout the day, maybe. from the scrub store and chick-fil-a which was amazing got a free chicken sandwich and free fries because i did the receipt thing where you get the receipt you fill out the survey and you get a free chicken sandwich and then i also got the waffle fry reward because i've been playing their moo game and yeah my meal was four dollars and 69 cents because i got a milkshake five dollar meal i'll take it i'm just gonna look up see if my license is up there I'm on nurses, but I kind of doubt it is since it's only 219. I don't really expect it to be, but we're just gonna type it in anyways and see. Comment down below if you guys have trouble with the insert um, the robot things where you have to click cars or motorcycles or streets. It's terrible. No, 
nothing yet. I'm gonna be checking it like crazy. I've been checking just about every hour since I tested. Should I do the Pearson trick? I think I'm gonna do the Pearson trick, even though I said I wasn't gonna do that. Real quick update at 10.15 p.m. Still no results, and I ended up not doing the Pearson view trick. I thought I was going to, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically where you try and reschedule the exam and buy it again. And the good pop-up means, you know, if you passed, it will say, her records indicate you've already scheduled this exam. Don't buy it. So, but the only problem with that is the pop-ups aren't always accurate, and I didn't want to stress myself out if it's not accurate and I get the bad pop-up and, you know, says we can... You can reschedule another exam because it may not be true so i convinced myself to wait and i do not know what the tennessee state board of nursing is doing right now with all of these licenses floating i just want some numbers for a license but i guess i'm gonna have to check in the morning i'm still gonna be checking every hour up until midnight because it says it was last updated july 11th and it's currently july 12th so I'm thinking they've got to update it before midnight tonight or early in the morning tomorrow. Surely they're going to update their website and keep it current. That's my thinking though. I'm so tired guys. Been up for a long time. Brain's exhausted. But it's been a good day. After the NCLEX, things just got a lot better. Got Chick-fil-A. Had more ice cream at another ice cream shop. Good morning everyone. It's July 13th at 9.15 in the morning. I just woke up at 9 and I checked to see if the license website was updated and it has been. It's updated from July 12th which is when I tested so theoretically I think my license could be up there if I passed and we're gonna check it this morning. I really hope that it's good, and I have a number, and not just a blank. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna fill out the information and see. What? Oh, I didn't get the right robot code. <laughs> N-X-U-Y-Z. Oh, nothing. Man, never mind. Well guys, it's not up yet. <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean that I failed. I guess I will see you all tomorrow because it is going to make me wait. <laughs> Since I didn't get my results today, I thought I'd just share with you all what I'm doing to keep busy. We've got some family in town and in... 10 minutes, we're gonna be heading over to go extreme whitewater river rafting. So I'm very excited about that. It should be a good distraction and that'll be pretty much all day. We'll get back around five or so and then go to sleep, wake up tomorrow early and check to see what the results are because theoretically they kind of have to be in by tomorrow is my thought. I might put some clips in of river rafting. guys it is another day july 14th 8 26 in the morning and it has been officially one minute past 48 hours from pearson view and i'm going to check my quick results i know you have to pay for them so if they're not in which they should be i'm just gonna look up the license because i think it should be up by now because if not then that won't be good news. Okay guys, 
I am so nervous. I have gotten progressively more nervous about this throughout these past couple days. I woke up so many times last night and was checking to see if Pearson View had my test results, not like the actual results, but just to see if it was up and it wasn't. So I'm gonna check it again and I'm gonna be FaceTiming with Elijah just so he can see right now because my dad is gone. He went to my grandparents and my mom's asleep. So I don't really wanna do this alone. Ah, guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, all right, I'm gonna pull it up and we're gonna do this. It says my quick results aren't available, which really stinks because it's been 48 hours. I don't know what's going on, but I guess I'll just have to look up the licenses on Tennessee and see. I'm just gonna type in my information on my iPad. It's one I'm gonna be using. If it's not up, I'm gonna be really sad. Robot things are crazy. <laughs> or you're a robot and you never told me. I'm so nervous. Okay, all right. Actually, <laughs> sweet. There's Elijah. <laughs> you guys, I am a registered nurse. <laughs> this is such such a great day. I am so so happy because I honestly did not. I convinced myself that I wasn't gonna be a nurse and all this stuff you go through in nursing school. I'm just so happy. <laughs> feel really blessed and I do want to say again thank you to everybody that's reached out that's texted me that's been praying for me that has given me so many kind messages that's been asking every day like did you get your exam results back yet my plan is to tell my family at dinner tonight because all of them are going to be coming up some of our extended family and then my grandparents are coming too <laughs> Elijah just texted me now officially nurse and there's the cat doing CPR <laughs> I cannot stop smiling because this is this is real I have a license number oh. I have something to show you <laughs> registered nurse <laughs> oh, oh. oh. That's so cool. all Go right yeah license number you passed I did! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 It was 8.30 this morning to tell you in person. Oh, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> so up your Thank own. you! <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, oh, my god. Such a great way to end the night. Thank you all so much for following this journey and yeah, guys, next video coming will be how I passed NCLEX, what resources I used, my stats from UWorld. I'll see you guys later. Bye.